When it comes to choosing a school, parents who want the best education for their students look for academic excellence, skilled teachers, a safe school that encourages their values. Students want a school with competitive athletics, unique opportunities, and friendships that last a lifetime. Fairfield Christian Academy, the place where parents and students agree. Enrolling now at fairfieldchristianacademy.com. Welcome to this edition of Lancaster Perspective. I'm Mike Miller, my special guest, the director of the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce, Travis Markwood. Welcome, bud. Hey, good to be here. How are you doing, man? Good. Uh, doing well. Doing well, Mike. Doing well. We're uh, we're talking off air a little bit. You're into basketball now. Your daughter's playing, and yeah, yeah, starting that phase of our lives. Uh, got my daughter's playing, and actually my uh, my first grade son's playing his first year of basketball. So. Uh, we're, we're busy. Divide, so now, divide and conquer. <laughs> divide and conquer. Some days, you yeah, know? I, I've been there. I have absolutely been there. Yeah. Sometimes it's, oh, wait a minute, where were we supposed to go tonight? Oh, I know. I have to keep checking the schedules. So. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Yep. That's good for you. It the, is good. It's uh, good stuff. Now, um, you played, you know, talk a little bit about Travis Mark Clubman, Fairfield <laughs> Union. All that. Try, <laughs> that's a long time ago, Mike. <laughs> talk a little bit about, no, people want to know. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a Fairfield Union graduate. Uh, Sometime in the 90s, we'll just say, we'll say that. Can we do that? Be a little vague about it. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was always in, always in sports, uh, football and basketball, just a little track. Uh, but uh, I don't know, always, uh, always a good experience for me. I think it, it teaches a lot, uh, not oh. only while you're in school, but uh, later on in life. There's a, there's a lot of disciplines you learn from sports and athletics. Did you yeah. play in college? Did you play? Did you... Uh, went to play a little bit of football at Otterbein College and uh, some injuries, and so decided yeah. uh, Division Three <laughs> did, didn't pay a lot of money for injuries, so <laughs> might as well get on with the rest of my life, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. The, uh, you've been involved with the Chamber for a number of years now. Yeah, it'll be actually six, I think, coming up here in March, so it's uh, time flies, but uh, yeah, six years. Yeah. The, um, there's a lot of activities at the Chamber of Commerce, and we're going to talk about the uh, annual meeting coming up and a, and a couple other things. Uh, but people always ask, because um, you know, I deal with a lot of employers and, and throughout Fairfield County, what's, why join the Chamber of Commerce? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, you know, and in, in, in what we say is uh, there's a lot of different reasons why somebody might jo join the Chamber of Commerce, and they're different for every business. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we like to think that uh, we have a suite of kind of services and uh, you know, we, we realize that every business is a little bit different, so you're not going to fit into, you know, um, you know, you, we can't just hand you a, a template and say, this is, <laughs> this this is, is what right, you get, yeah. you know, and like mm -hmm. it or not. And so we try to, we really try to take somewhat of a customized approach. So we'll sit down with our chamber members and, and we realize that, that uh, some businesses may not need all our service. Some businesses really only join for one reason. Some businesses join because they want to put a sticker in front of the door and say that they're a Chamber of Commerce member because, you know, yep. uh, it's a recognized organization. And that's fine, too. But, uh, you know, Chamber members that really get the full value from their Chamber membership, uh, you know, uh, they get involved. Um, and uh, and, and we, we work with them pretty closely. You know, I, I think if you want to hit the, the big areas, you know, uh, we help market a lot of small businesses. Small businesses obviously don't have big marketing budgets, so one of the things right. that we can do mm -hmm. uh, is, is really help them market and create a network for them. We have about 700 members, so all those members for a lot of small businesses are potential customers, frankly, and uh, so we help them get together uh, and, and, and network in, in a lot of different marketing vehicles with newsletters and, and different things that we can do. So that's a big one. Uh, but in general, too, uh, business advocacy, uh, and some of our member services are, are, are very important to a lot of members as well. One of the things that I didn't, I mean, I knew about, but it's come back is insurance. Companies can actually talk about the insurance program. Yeah, uh, for years uh, we had an insurance program uh, with, with a carrier uh, that, that was that was launched, oh, I'd say 10, 12 years ago, and, and that worked for a while. Obviously, there's been a lot of changes mm -hmm. in, in health care. Uh, and so uh, a couple years ago, we started talking again about uh, bringing back a program after having about a year or two hiatus of, of not having a chamber-sponsored uh, uh, insurance program. Important to business, a lot of small businesses hard to afford right. that insurance, uh, and so we we went out seeking uh, a carrier or a company that we could partner with, uh, and and fortunately we were able to create a real strategic partnership with uh, a company out of Newark, Ohio. So they're somewhat local, regional, if you will, called Medbin, um, and we created the partners uh, the partners um, health uh, program, 
And it's also a partnership with uh, Fairfield Medical Center and uh, the Doctors Association here in town. So uh, it, it all kind of came together, and uh, we believe we've created uh, a solution uh, mm. for some businesses. Um, much like our Chamber of, of, of Commerce uh, benefits, you know, right. uh, there is no one solution for, for every mm -hmm. business. So it works very well for some, some it might not, but we do feel it, it, it serves a need here for a lot of our businesses. The, um, <clears throat> there, there are so many different programs that, that go on. We're going to try to touch on most of them today, but one of the newer ones was the energy program through ADP that you had. Yeah, we just launched this last summer, uh, and uh, this was a partnership with AEP Energy, uh, which is a subsidy of, of AEP. Um, and uh, what, what AEP is, is able to do is uh, create basically a pool of customers, if you will, in an area like this, or Chamber of Commerce members in this case, mm -hmm. uh, and they'll basically look at their energy bills, uh, see where they can potentially create cost savings. And since you know, there's a pool of bigger customers, right. they're able to, to lower those electric rates. Uh, I'm no expert when it comes to, <laughs> you know, uh, electric rates and how they all work. Uh, but what I do know is in our initial five, six months of having this out there, we have saved some significant money for some of our chamber members. So uh, it's a great program. It's a good, uh, a good partnership. And certainly any businesses that are interested in us taking a look, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of companies on the phone calling you <laughs> saying, hey, we can save you right. on your electric bills, and, and that's fine, and I, I, I think they all have a valid, uh, valid opportunity to do so, but we felt AP, Ohio company, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with roots very close to here uh, and, and investments in our area, that uh, they, they were the ones that we wanted to partner with, so uh, I, think, I think we're going to be able to do some real good things with that moving forward. If somebody wanted to contact the chamber, walk in, website, phone number, what's the easiest way? Yeah, uh, uh, really any of those. Uh, certainly walk in. We're at 109 North Broad Street, right downtown in the park uh, behind the Sherman statue. We're actually at the old the old Anchor Hawking mm -hmm. headquarters. Um, and then certainly you can call us at 653-8251. Our website is lancoc.org. And so any of those ways you can get a hold of us. And uh, Again, we we love stuff. We love walk-ins. It's uh, I think you've walked in the office before, <laughs> a couple times. We don't we don't kick anybody yeah, out. Yeah, if, I, if I can get in, anybody can get in. Absolutely. That's right. The um, one of the programs that, that you've had for number is leadership class. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that and yeah. involvement with the community. Yeah, I, this is I, I think what I'd consider one of the premier programs of the chamber, and, and it's something we really enjoy doing, and, and that's our leadership course. It's It's been around for years. Uh, over the years, it's taken a few hiatuses in terms of just needing to be retooled, so we've taken years off here and there. Uh, but, you know, uh, six, seven years ago, mm -hmm. uh, with the help of, of really Mina Eubing, Bob Eubing, uh, yeah. and, a, and a select other uh, group of, of really what we're calling mentors, folks that have been through the class before, kind of help bring it back and get it off the ground again, kind of redesign it a little bit. And, and since then, it's been off to the races. Uh, we've had some really successful years, uh, and we really enjoy doing it. But the class usually consists of about 15 to, to 20 individuals from local businesses. These are usually folks that businesses feel have a lot of potential there. They're up-and-coming mm -hmm. management. Uh, and uh, it really, a lot, that means a lot of times we get younger folks, but we get really all age groups and all backgrounds and a lot of different, uh, from a lot of different types of companies, with manufacturers, professional services, I mean, you name it. So we put all these folks together and, and, and we do a lot of different programs through there. You know, we, we, we uh, go through a process uh, from a book that's called Strength Finders, and that's really kind of discovering your strengths as a leader uh, and using those strengths and, and how to best use those strengths. And so that's, that's really the basis of the class. Then we do some strategic projects throughout the year um, that uh, that allow them to adopt kind of a community project, uh, develop a, a strategy for solving a problem mm -hmm. maybe for one of our, our local groups. That's what we're doing this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've had them adopt a nonprofit organization, if you will, uh, to kind of help them maybe solve a challenge or something they've been trying to accomplish to, but maybe don't have the resources to do to put a plan together for that. It all kind of ends. It starts in September. We go through these classes. Uh, we also learn a little bit about what the uh, – with the local economy, what drives it, what are the utilities and infrastructure that drive our local economy and business development. Uh, but all kind of culminates in some strategic uh, presentations, right. if you will, of those plans uh, coming up in like uh, May and kind of a graduation ceremony. And so it's about a nine month program and uh, we, get, we get good feedback from this. We're talking with uh, Travis Markwood, the director of the Fairfield County uh, Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, talking about uh, benefits of being a, a chamber member and, and uh, a couple other things coming up here. 
uh, we're entering that time of the year where it's the state of. <laughs> it, it is. City, county, schools. Talk a little bit about how the Chamber's right. involved in that. Right. State of season. The state of season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's, it's the season for state of. Uh, you know, this is something that the Chamber's done for years, and, and we find it really important to provide a forum, if you will, for, for Chamber of Commerce members. And, and really, you know, if, if there's folks from the public that are interested in attending some mm -hmm. of these events and they, they catch wind of them and, and see those, um, we'd love to have you out as our guest, you know. Uh, but the state of events uh, are really an opportunity to create a forum to learn about the, uh, several different entities. One, the first one coming up here in February, will be uh, the state of the city. And I know you're going to ask me what the date is, and I don't <laughs> yeah, have it with no, me. No, it's okay. We'll get it. <laughs> we'll get okay. JT to run it out. Right, there you go. Uh, the state of the city uh, is coming up, and, and that's an opportunity where uh, Mayor Smith and, and, and a lot of the different uh, department leaders mm -hmm. will uh, come to the chamber membership. It's a breakfast at Olivedale, and uh, really provide an update. You know, it's the beginning of the year. It's, it's it's a good opportunity for them to say, hey, here's what here's what the city of Lancaster's challenges are going to be for this year. And most importantly, here's what we think we're going to mm. be really successful at. Here's what we're excited about. Sometimes there's announcements at these meetings about uh, new projects, maybe a new business, mm -hmm. new projects. So it's always kind of an exciting opportunity uh, and, a, and a good event. Uh, and then in the years past, we've participated in, in helping to bring the state of the, uh, state of the county address as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that comes up as very much the same thing, just from a county standpoint. Uh, and then one, one we really enjoy as well is the State of the Schools Address, where we get Lancaster High School involved uh, and uh, some of the local county schools and let them provide an opportunity to say, you know, here are the challenges mm -hmm. in education, here are the exciting things happening in education, and, and a little bit of an update on their schools. Um, and, and we always host that at Stanbury, and um, it's been really cool. The last couple of years, uh, the culinary <laughs> program at Stanbury has cooked, uh, yes, de, you know. It's all about food. Lunch. It is about food. <laughs> and, it, and they do a really nice job, but it's, it gives them an opportunity to, to, to cater our, yeah. our meal and get some training, and uh, they do a fantastic job, so it, 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 yeah, it's a good time. And all those dates are on the website. If you want yeah, to you can yeah, check absolutely. all those out. They're coming up uh, in the first quarter of 2014. Right. Um, one of the other things that, that you guys get involved with, um, you have a fall trade show. I know it's mm -hmm. not going to be till September, October. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that. Yeah, trade shows seem to be uh, something our chamber members, you know, <laughs> they, they really they, they value. Um, and I think it's because many of our chamber members, some people think of trade shows, some people have been to big conferences right. where you, you know, you've got these whole convention centers <laughs> full of booths and trade shows. Well, you know, those are on steroids compared to ours. But, <laughs> but I tell you what, it's a really good opportunity to get, uh, to get sometimes around about 100 exhibitors, right. chamber members, and, and they're usually, uh, and we're out the Eagles uh, in the fall. And uh, chamber members have told us in surveys, you know, that's one of the, the, the big values they see because it, it's a very affordable way for them to get in front of a lot of people at one time. Uh, and we usually have three, four, or 500 people walk through some of those trade shows, and it's a good opportunity to, to not only kind of mingle with your other uh, cohorts in the business world, but uh, you know, talk to potential customers mm -hmm. as well. So they really enjoy that networking opportunity. In the same way, that we have a trade show before our annual dinner right. that we'll talk about a little bit later, but it's the same kind of concept. Do you get involved with other chambers throughout the state? I mean, do you guys have an annual conference, or do you just call somebody up and say, hey, well, how did this work for you? There, there are other organizations that bring chamber executives together and chambers together. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people think that, uh, you know, uh, there's a pecking order of chambers, <laughs> and, we're, and we're part of that. You know, the, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, you know, mm -hmm. resides here, and then the state chambers, and then mm -hmm. the guys. That are, there's really, they're, they're all individual organizations, and, and uh, the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce is its own organization, its own nonprofit organization. Uh, but there are a lot of different support groups, and, uh, you know, time permitting, it's always nice participating in those. I don't get to as much as I'd like to. Um, and, uh, but, but, you know, at least from a, a local standpoint, we do get to participate uh, occasionally with even some of our other chambers throughout the right. county, which is nice. Well, do you ever get to go to a national convention like in Arizona or Florida or someplace uh, warm? I haven't <laughs> done that. I haven't done that. But if you'd like to suggest yeah, that I will. to the board I, of absolutely. <laughs> suggest that to the board of directors, we'll get that on the plan next yeah, year. I'll, I'll, like. I'll bring that up. Next time I'm in, I'll, <laughs> I'll bring that up. Um, do you ever look at things like, say, you know, somebody in um, – another state's doing something thinking why can't we do that here I mean yeah. why, why can't we do I mean yeah. I know budget constraints and things like sure. that but oh you know um, I, I, I'm never too proud to say that uh, you know stealing a good idea or I should say <laughs> borrowing a good idea from others uh, you know yeah, is it, certainly yeah. uh, I think it's actually I think it's a smart way to do business I mean if there's a model out there that's working for someone or a program that's working for someone um, gosh, you know, it, it's worth exploring. And there's been times which, which is really kind of a neat thing. You can pick up a phone uh, 
call that Chamber of Commerce in North Carolina or wherever it may be and, and ask for the director and get on the conversation. I've done this uh, with several and we, we, we take calls every once in a while and, and, and you really just you trade a little bit of ideas or you ask them how mm -hmm. that program worked and, and often very candid they'll, they'll tell you, you know, well we've had struggles with it or it's been a total success yeah. and, and oftentimes in, you know, willing to send you documentation or plans or, or things how to do it. So it works out pretty well and, and we've utilized that before. Mm -hmm. well, talk a little bit about your staff. I know you mm -hmm. have, uh, you have yeah. an excellent staff down at the chamber. Talk a little bit about each of those. Uh, we do. Uh, great staff, and we're fortunate to, to have, while it's still a, considered probably a small office to many, uh, yeah. we, we have four full-time folks in there. Uh, Alicia Conrad has been with us the longest, uh, and she is our events coordinator and also does some office management uh, duties. Uh, Joe Welsh is uh, mm -hmm. basically our, our uh, membership uh, development uh, uh, director and uh, she does a great job. She's out on the, out, she's kind of our, our sales force, <laughs> yeah. if you are, our yeah. one our one person sales force. But Joe's often in, in businesses each and every day and talking to them about the chamber and uh, she's she's doing a great job for us. She helps with our sponsorships as well uh, that make some of our events possible. Uh, and then uh, Jared Kale, uh, he is uh, a marketing uh, coordinator for us. Does a fantastic job on. Uh, we really put him to work his first year last year <laughs> developing some, some, some needed marketing materials, but uh, he has the skills to, to, uh, to, to allow us to develop a lot of our marketing materials in-house, uh, which, is, which is really nice. So great staff, yep. um, and uh, they, they work, we all work really well together. Now, one of the, uh, I guess one of the, the big event is the annual meeting that's coming up uh, Saturday, January 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, this year it's going to be at Fisher Catholic High School. It is, um, yeah. and. You know, we, we have archives that have pictures of... Uh, <laughs> I saw some of those. Yeah, yeah. I did see some of them. Yep, yep. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, Lou Varga and uh, many many folks here in Lancaster know uh, Perlene Reffitt. Yep. We're just in our office a little earlier today digging through some of these because we've got a box of all these old newspaper clippings and pictures, uh, and, and it's, it's amazing. Uh, there's a whole history there, but, but a lot of those take place at Fisher. Well, then some years ago, uh, it was moved to Lancaster High School, and we've been there for... I don't have the exact number of years uh, since my tenure's only been about six years, but uh, we've been there for 10 to 15 years, uh, maybe even 20 at this point. Um, but uh, it was time to just for a change, you know, change mm -hmm. it up a little bit, uh, give uh, all those great folks at Lancaster High School a rest, uh, let the basketball coach have his have his schedule back <laughs> on that weekend. Back. On that weekend, yeah, it's important. And yeah. It is, and uh, you know, but we, in all seriousness, we we really have appreciated working with Lancaster and. And they have just opened their doors, and they get their their staff and their faculty mm -hmm. out there, and and you know they are so they were so willing to help, and so uh, I think uh, Jack and Jack Greyhouse and those folks over there they're going to get a nice breather this year. <laughs> uh, they, they probably won't tell me the truth of, of how glad they are, <laughs> they are to, that yeah. it's there or not there because it is a lot of work, but we have appreciated. But we're really looking forward to Fisher. Sean Kenny and crew over there at Fisher mm -hmm. Catholic uh, have welcomed us in and uh, been very easy to work with and. Uh, it's going to be a nice change up. And uh, again, it's Saturday, January 25th mm -hmm. uh, at Fisher. If you'd like to respond, you can call the chamber, 653 8251, ask for Alicia mm -hmm. Conrad. She'll take care of it. It's $45 a person. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, $45 a person. And it's really a whole night, really, right. if you will think about it, of mm -hmm. entertainment. It starts with the trade show at 5 o'clock, uh, and we'll go 5, five uh, to 6 30. We usually theme the trade show, so this year's kind of a Vegas theme. So you'll you'll probably see a lot of our chamber members uh, setting up their their tables and displays and stuff with a Vegas theme and have some games. <laughs> I, I did have somebody ask me how you picked the Vegas theme. I said, well, you know, I'm going to see Travis Friday. I'll ask him. Yeah, you know, I tell you, it, it, it's interesting because uh, there's no real science to it. A lot of times we sit around in the office as a staff and and, and we. And, and you, you, sometimes it's really easy. Yeah. One pops into your head, and you're yeah. like, "Hey, that's it, that's it." And then the other other times you're, you you really struggle. But uh, we, it's fun to have to do sure. something kind of fun, you know. And mm -hmm. we thought this would be fun, and so we will award uh, one chamber member with their exhibit as uh, the, uh, yeah. the kind of the trade show, uh, the best themed trade show booth. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, a lot of chamber members get into that, and it's it's, it's pretty fun. You have some great sponsors uh, for this: uh, Buckeye yeah. Honda, Toyota, mm -hmm. uh, Fairfield Medical Center, Fairfield yeah. National Bank, uh, South Central Power, mm -hmm. Standing Stone National Bank. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, the sponsors like that, and there's many, many more. Those are our premier sponsors, but uh, there's many, many more that uh, that help this happen. I mean, this is uh, this is the biggest event that we have throughout the year. Uh, we we like to say, you know, we 600 of our closest friends for dinner, and mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it, it takes a lot of people to make it happen. And, 
would certainly appreciate it. And they're going to, have, again, uh, it's 5 o'clock, the trade show on networking, uh, mm -hmm. 645, and then a dinner is at 7 in the gymnasium. Yep. And then the award ceremony after that. Yeah. Um, and you are giving out some awards uh, this year. We are. Oh, you give them out every year. Every year. Uh, and uh, I have the envelope in my hand now. <laughs> right, uh, right, right. There are some, there are some uh, very significant awards that you give out, and we're going to talk a little bit about each one. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the, the Brett Markwood Award. Yeah, yeah, the Brett Markwood Award. Of course, uh, this is a uh, award that uh, recognizes really a, a safety services person throughout the county. So it could be a uh, police officer, uh, firefighter, uh, someone involved in safety services, uh, EMT. Uh, but uh, this honors a uh, fallen police officer who lost his life in, uh, in, in 1993, Brett Markwood. And uh, it, it, it honors the, the hard work and dedication he had to his profession. And uh, it's, it's a great honor to, to be able to, to host this award, if you will. So uh, it, it ended up a, 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 as part of the Chamber program several years back. Um, and, uh, you know, the criteria really is, is, is you're trying to find one of these safety service folks that are just so dedicated to their job, you know, mm -hmm. they go above and beyond. And um, I'm actually writing some things up for the dinner right now, and I'm looking at these nominations, and it's so hard to pick. There's so much that these folks right. do in these nominations, it's really hard to, to just have to figure out what to put in and what to leave out. Mm -hmm. so. and, and these awards have already been announced, that's right. Or do you want to hold off on that? Or? No, they're, they're, they've been public knowledge. You'll probably see them in the paper very okay. soon if you haven't seen them out there. But, uh, yeah, Officer uh, Jerry Darfus is, is this year's Brett Markwood Award winner, and he'll be there on uh, the 25th to, to accept his award. Fan, congratulations to yeah. Officer Darfus. The business of the year for... Um, um, employees or companies with less than 25 employees? Yeah, this is what we kind of consider our small business award. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're real excited this year. Uh, a, a, a company in town that's that's been here for multiple generations, and that's Walker Shoe Center. Uh, and many of uh, you know them out on East Main Street. And uh, gosh, it's really cool if you go to their website. I, I was doing some research on them, and, and, and they have their whole family you know, generation by generation, mm -hmm. the history of how many people have owned this, this or ran this business, if you will, and uh, now Melissa Walker is running it, and uh, it's been a staple in the community, yeah. and there's there's so many reasons that they deserve to be, uh, you know, small business of the year. And then uh, the uh, business of the year with 25 employees or more? Yeah, a large business of the year. Uh, this goes to, uh, this year is going to Fairfield National Bank, uh, and I think most people, uh, residents of, of Lancaster and Fairfield County are familiar with with Fairfield National Bank. They do so many great things in the community um, and uh, just an outstanding place mm -hmm. to work, uh, an outstanding uh, uh, community partner. They get involved in so many different things and, and again, uh, they take customer service seriously and uh, it, always innovative in what they're offering to their customers. So they really a uh, you know, quintessential candidate right. for, for this award, no question. And then we have the uh, Tammy Neusser Award. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's pretty special this mm -hmm. year. Uh, we were talking about our employees uh, a little bit ago, but uh, had a, a, a longtime employee of the Chamber of Commerce, Tammy Neusser. Uh, we, we lost her last year over the, uh, in 2012, right around the holidays there uh, with her battle with cancer. And uh, But she was such an asset to the Chamber of Commerce, and customer mm -hmm. service was really her, yeah, her strong absolutely. point. Uh, she, she didn't have any enemies, that's for sure, mm -hmm. and uh, she was very good at, uh, at creating really strong relationships. So in her honor last year, we developed the uh, Tammy Neusser Customer Service Award to be awarded to an individual or company that just really excels, goes above and beyond uh, in the realm of customer service. And uh, we're awarding it for the first time this year, uh, and it's going to go to uh, Christy Schaefer, who is a uh, front desk manager at Hampton Inn right here in town. So, uh, and to read these nominations, you can always see why, right, uh, sure. why, why they're deserving of the award. And then the Young Professional Award. Yeah, yeah, and this is this is a fairly new award as well. We've had a young professional organization that was developed about three years ago, and I think this is we're in our third or fourth, year, I think third year or fourth year of, uh, of awarding this. But uh, uh, this goes to an individual, obviously a young professional, and the criteria is, is under 40. Um, so Mike, I I just you, missed you, got, it. you got a couple years, don't you? Maybe. Yeah, oh, oh, you yeah, just missed it. I just okay. missed it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, an individual under 40, a professional in, t uh, in Lancaster, Fairfield County, that, that again excels in a lot of different ways. Their leadership, uh, you know, their work ethic, uh, but also is involved in the community and giving back and involved uh, in, a, in a lot of different other things. And, and of course, acts as a great mentor as well. Sure. So Angela Cryo, Cryo Communications. Mm -hmm. um, uh, been around town that you, you've probably run into Angela. She's involved in so many different things and gives back so much, uh, but well-deserving and, and really looking forward to awarding that award to Angela as well. 
Then you have one more award that uh, has been announced yet, the Floyd Wolf Award. There are mm -hmm. uh, five nominees for that, but it has not been decided. Yeah, Floyd Wolf Award uh, is always kept kind of uh, kind of a close to the, the vest, if you will, and uh, we, we announced that that night. Uh, it's a surprise, uh, so we have to get kind of tricky and convincing that person to make sure that they're at the dinner that night. Uh, but it's a great uh, uh, award <laughs> to, to, to honor a, really a philanthropist or a, uh, an individu mm -hmm. individual who's really not only dedicated themselves to their work typically, but really uh, you know, just as, as much as to get dedicated themselves to the community. The um, uh, we, we talk about all the different awards. You mentioned getting them there. You've heard anybody say, oh, I'm not showing up, but they are the award winner. What do you do? Well, there are some people, because a lot of times some of these award winners, um, they're, they're very humble, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's difficult. You have to get tricky and, and, and you know, uh, maybe even tell a little fib here and there to get them there. Uh, we're talking with Travis Markwood, the director of Lancaster. Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce talking about the annual meeting <coughs> coming up me. on Saturday, January 25th at Fisher Catholic High School. So um, we do appreciate you coming in. We really do. Absolutely. And uh, giving us a rundown on the chamber. Um, how many people do you expect? Uh, you know, typically we, we, we range anywhere from five to 600 people. So wow. uh, we'll have about 600 people for dinner. Uh, that's our goal. And uh, this thing has been as big as 800 in, in, in years past. Um, but right now we, we tend to be in between five and six hundred. Mm -hmm. We'll have a couple of hundred uh, additional folks that will come to the trade show too that maybe won't stay for dinner with us. But uh, it's a great night. It's really our premier event, and and, sure. and we like to consider it a night for business uh, to really celebrate uh, doing business mm -hmm. here in Lancaster and Fairfield County, and, and an opportunity for uh, for those chamber members kind of pat each other on the back and said, "Job well done." The uh, we've just got a, a few minutes left, and uh -huh. again talking about Travis Markwood from the Chamber of mm -hmm. Commerce. Um, the annual meeting coming up Saturday, January 25th. Uh, trade show starts at 5 o'clock. Uh, how late can they register? Uh, we can take reservations up until just about the week of, um, uh, which would put us uh, to 25th, you know, somewhere around the 20, 22nd, 23rd, probably. We could still probably take a couple of uh, reservations, but uh, just give us a call. We'll, we try to be as flexible as possible. But you can't walk in. You can't show up. Uh, we kind of we kind of discourage walk-ins. Um, certainly, uh, invite you to come to our trade show. Sure. But walk-ins are a little difficult for us to plan for from a catering standpoint. Right. Uh, it's really hard to gauge. <laughs> you know, if we have a lot of walk-ins, mm -hmm. but uh, feel free to join us uh, from five to six forty-five at the trade show. Uh, I'm sure, a lot of chamber members would love to see a lot of folks out there. That was another question I, I got this week was who decides the menu? Is that you or is that? <laughs> uh, you know, it, 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 it's it, it is um, it's the staff. Um, and good answer. Yeah, and, <laughs> good answer. And, and, and collaboration with the executive committee as well, and, and we actually have an annual dinner committee as well. So ah. uh, we go through a pretty stringent process of, of menu, and uh, I, I guess I'm not afraid to admit that we do a little taste testing as well. Uh, <laughs> it's all about the food. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Travis, we appreciate you coming in again. We've been talking with Travis Markwood, the director of the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce, talking about the annual meeting coming up Saturday, January 25th at Fisher Catholic High School. If you're interested in going, call 653-8251 and they will get you uh, signed up to do that. Travis, thanks again. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Lancaster Perspective. I'm Mike Miller. And remember, until we meet again, let's make a difference. Thanks for coming. Are we in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I just uh, want to set some ground rules. Like, like what? Well, remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? <laughs> I do not recall that. <laughs> of course not. Well, it was pretty graphic. Too graphic for the kids. <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. I, you know, i got to make this up to you. This is Vinny's watch, and I want you to have it. You deserve no, it. Thank you. <laughs> That's really not necessary. No, no. Come here.